Could this be the ultimate module tray? Well, today is the first of a two-part in-depth review of the Busta Seed propagation tray. Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. This week I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. I'm going to be doing a product review because I'm going to be talking about the Busta Seed propagation tray, giving you my first impressions, what I think of it and whether I think it would be good for you as well. But as well as that, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway to celebrate the channel hitting 1000 subscribers. So make sure to stick around because later in the episode, I'll be talking about exactly what you can win and more importantly, how you can enter so that you can be in with the chance of winning. So before we get started, a couple of important things to get out of the way first. I didn't have to buy this unit. I contacted Busta Seed and they very kindly sent it to me for me to have a look at. And they did not pay me to make this video in any way. Crucially also, they had no input into the content of this video. And finally, they're not going to get a chance to see this video or review it before I make it public and before you all get to see it. So how did I come across this? Well, the answer is by total chance. At the end of last year, I saw a post all about the Irish Design Awards 2020. And along with that post, there was a photo of one of these. So I was interested and clicked through. And what I didn't realize was that part of the Irish Design Awards is a category for sustainable design. And the winner of that last year was this, the Busta Seed Propagation Tray. And I was really intrigued because most of the seed sewing that I do is into modules. I'm not a big fan of seed trays or sewing into pots, but I really hate modules as well because they're not very environmentally sound. They're generally made out of black plastic, which isn't easily recyclable, if at all recyclable, and they generally don't have a very good lifespan. So when I was looking at this online, I thought that this had much more potential to be something that was going to work for me and that would be reusable over the years. So let's have a little bit of a chat more in depth about a few bits and pieces with this. Okay, so let's kick off by talking about exactly what you get if you buy one of these kits. Like most of these things, it comes in several parts. This has got a nice solid base tray that importantly doesn't have holes in the bottom. I'll come back to that later. Then inside it, it's got these row inserts that you can see. So it's got seven rows that are made up of five modules each. And then as well as that, it's got your typical clear plastic lid that goes over the top and allows it to act a little bit like a greenhouse, keeping some heat and keeping the moisture in when you're bringing on seeds or cuttings. But importantly, let's talk about the construction of this thing. As soon as you get it out of the packet or the box, you'll notice that it is so much heavier than what you'd be used to. I have been a little bit of a geek Yes, I have been that geeky to weigh this and it comes in at about 565 grams. Now, just to give you a little bit of comparison, this is a standard plastic module tray that I've been using for a couple of years and I weighed it as well and it weighs in at 40 grams. So you can see that this is a lot heavier and what that means is that it's a lot more solid. The weight is definitely a good thing. You can see that there's very little flex in this. It's nice and solid and it's nice and durable. But what I really love about the construction in this thing is the thought that's gone into it. So you'll notice for starters that the top of the clear plastic lid has these indentations. Well, those indentations mean that it fits in exactly along the base of the base tray. So that means that when you're storing it, it just folds away really nicely. But then those indentations that are at the bottom of the base tray, they hold each of these row inserts in. They almost click into place. So it means that they don't slide around, which is really nice. Then what you have is each of these rows is made up of five cells. Each cell is about three and a half centimeters by three and a half centimeters and about five centimeters deep. So each plug or module is actually really quite deep, which is great. It's gonna give any seed or cutting that you're bringing on plenty of room to start growing before you need to transplant it. Overall, I think the construction and the design just seems really cleverly thought out. So now let's have a talk about exactly the idea behind it and what makes this really clever. 
Okay, so construction and sturdiness aside, let's have a quick talk about what I think makes this thing really, really genius. And it's the simple fact that you can lift out individual rows of cells. So, Bustaseed themselves say that the advantages of that are that it's very easy to tip out the plug when it comes time to pot it on, rather than having to squeeze it out from the base of a module tray. Each of these cells is open-sided, so you can just gently tip it out and pot it on. I'll come back to that in a couple of weeks and we'll see exactly how well that works. What this also allows you to do is very easily and at any time lift any row and check on the root development and the moisture level of the soil. That's really, really handy. But where this comes into its own for me personally is the ability to grow multiple different types of seed at the same time. If you watch any of my seed sowing videos, you'll always hear me talking about successionally sowing things and how I don't sow too many of one thing at each time. What that does mean though, is that quite often I don't fill up a module tray with just one thing. So I end up growing different things in one module tray. That gets really tricky when things start growing at different rates. You might have things that aren't coming along so quickly and other things that now need potted on. With this thing, you can easily just lift a row or several rows, take it away, pot it on, and even better, put it back in, fill it with more fresh soil or compost, and start sowing more seeds without it interacting or having any kind of detrimental effect on everything else that you're growing. So what I think this does is it gives you the opportunity to almost set up like a little factory production line where you can be constantly sowing things, and if things are ready to get potted on, you can then pot those on and get sewing straight away with even more. I think this is absolutely genius and I can't wait to give it a go myself. If you're enjoying the video or you're finding it useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up down below. And remember, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and then you'll be notified when I post my next video. It's one thing talking about design and construction. It's another thing finding out whether this is actually a practical bit of kit that will be useful for a gardener, particularly in gardening. If you've got kit or equipment or tools, they need to be practical, they need to work, and they need to be durable. So let's get this thing going. Let's get a little bit of compost into it and I'm gonna sow some seeds. And I've been keeping back all of my tomato seeds to sow in this as a test. If they germinate nicely, they're gonna grow nice and quickly. And that means in a couple of weeks, we can come back and see how well this thing has worked and how easy it is to pot on the little seedlings. The one concern that I had with this is how easy it is to fill it with the compost. The reason for that is that although these are removable, they're not really an issue, but down the side here, there is this empty little bit of space. Now this empty bit of space is there so that you can pour water into the tray, which I really like, but I'm just wondering whether it's gonna be awkward to get the compost in. So let's give it a go. So the good news is the answer is no. There's no problem when it comes to filling it with compost. It was just as easy as filling any other module tray. The only thing I did do is because of that little gap that I was talking about down the side, I just made sure to put my hand against the final row of cells so that as I was spreading the compost and pushing it into each of the modules, it just wasn't all spilling down. And certainly almost no compost has gone down into that little gully. It's been really easy to fill. And although this compost is a little bit dry at the moment, let's have a quick look and see whether I can lift one of the inserts the way they say you can, so that you can have a cross section look of the compost plug itself. Fingers crossed. Ah, check that out. I actually think that's really nifty. That is going to be really good once the roots start to develop. There we go. So let's get some seeds in and we'll keep going.
So I've got all of the seeds in and they're pretty much ready to go, but when I was putting them in I did realise one thing that isn't just quite perfect about this unit and it's to do with plant labels. This is a standard sized plastic plant label and you'll see that when I put it into one of the cells it's just that little bit too tall and it stops the propagator lid going down. For me, that is not a deal breaker. It's not the end of the world. This is such a good unit that brings so many other advantages. The what I did instead was the simple solution. I got the scissors out and I cut some of the plant labels in half and now they're absolutely perfect. I can label the modules and the lid fits. The other interesting thing to talk about is earlier on I mentioned down the side of this tray there's a gap. And also I mentioned that the tray itself doesn't have holes in the bottom. The reason for that is this is designed that you can water it from the bottom really, really easily and I love that. I hate watering modules or anything to do with seeds from the top. I find that no matter what way I do it, no matter how gently I do it, I just end up blasting compost everywhere and moving seeds around or washing them away. I really hate it. So if I'm using a standard module tray like this, then what I need to do is I need to water it from below, I need to dunk it into something because it doesn't have its own tray, then what I'm left with is a really heavy and really quite floppy module tray and that's how breakages like this happen. The guys at Buster Seed have thought this through clearly and this little gully here is just perfectly designed. It means that you can water at any time that you want in the side like this and it just really nicely waters all of the module cells from the bottom, minimizing any kind of disturbance. I really, really love this feature. I think it is just brilliant. All in all, seems like a really solid little bit of kit that's easy to use and I'm very happy with it. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be giving my seeds plenty of TLC to bring on the tomato seedlings and I'm going to come back and do a second part to this review video showing how well everything gets on and how easy it is to tip the little modules out and pot them on and give you my final thoughts on the overall design of the product, how well it works and most importantly will I keep using them and do I think you should be using them as well. So as if a review wasn't exciting enough, let's talk about the giveaway that I mentioned at the start of the video. The reason I'm doing the giveaway is because I've just hit 1000 subscribers on the channel. I am absolutely blown away and it means so much to me. Thank you to each and every one of you that's watched my videos and then chosen to hit that subscribe button. It really is just brilliant. So I spoke to the very kind people over at Busta Seed and they have offered three of their propagation trays that I can give away to you guys. So I'm going to have a little bit of a competition and three lucky winners are each going to win one of these propagation kits that normally retail for £15.99. So because of the size and weight of this parcel it's not possible to ship it internationally for this giveaway. So the giveaway is going to be limited to residents of the UK and Ireland only but it's going to be really easy to enter. If you live in the UK or Ireland all you need to do is go down to the comments below and leave me a comment telling me if you won one of the Buster Seed propagation kits what would you choose to grow in it this year and the competition is going to remain open until midnight on Saturday the 6th of March 2021. At that point the competition is going to close and then I'm going to pick three comments fully at random and each one of those winners will win one of these units. Now this competition is not run in association with YouTube and as ever I'll make sure to put all of the important terms and conditions and disclaimers and all of that in the description below so that you can have a read through them. So hopefully you find the review video interesting and useful. If you liked the video please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I post my next video and if you're entering the giveaway, good luck and until next time, see you later.